Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. My name is Kelly, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in South Central Missouri. And today, we're doing a layered card. It's very simple. I mean, you could do whatever you wanted to to jazz this up, but start with something really basic. And I was at a Stampin' Up! I took part in a Stampin' Up! online retreat this weekend with my upline and several other um, I'm looking for my cards. So oh, there they are right in front of me. Um, uh, there's a collection of four demonstrators, including my upline, that work together to put on an online retreat for us every year. <coughs> and I had been blessed to earn the last three retreats. And one of our projects was to do this layered card. It was one of our uh, pre-retreat um, projects, kind of get us juiced up and going and ready for the retreat and all it required is to use uh, make three mats for your card using the same color family and after playing with several options I had started with I was going to use blues but none of the blues really jumped out to me so I started with <clears throat> looking at my greens and there was a whole range of them here but they all seemed I don't know I just wasn't in a vintage mood I guess they just really didn't do anything for me so the ones that I settled on were Just Jade, which is one of the in colors that we are losing this year, Granny Apple Green, and Soft Sea Foam. I thought those had a really nice contrast. So I started with these, and you can write these directions down as I go, or you can use the link in the description box below to get all the measurements. But this is the card I came up with. We are going to be using the stamps from Nature's Harvest and the dies from the Amazing Thanks dies for this project. Other things you're going to need are soft seafoam ink, memento black ink, your die cutter to cut out uh, the word thanks from the dies, and basic white cardstock adhesive of your choice and it's that plain it's that ready to go so we're starting with a uh, basic white cardstock and I have it cut so that I can fold it to four and a quarter by five and a half and that becomes the front of our card I'm going to set that aside for a minute next you're going to need your three coordinating colors in the same color family um, now, if you want to go off-grid and do something totally different with three totally, totally different colors, they don't have to be in the same color family, that's fine. This will work for anything. So we start with Just Jade at four and three quarter by three and a half. Granny Apple Green is cut to four and a half by three and a quarter, and the Soft Sea Foam is cut at four and a quarter by three. And if you'll notice, everything breaks down in quarter inch increments. And then you need a piece of the basic white to stamp your image on, and that is four inches by three and a quarter. So I'm gonna start by layering these up first. So, um, and what I did was I put the mats together before I did anything else. So I want my granny apple green to go on my just, just jade, so I'm gonna run the adhesive down on this. Now this is one of those cards where I'm really glad I used the Tombow liquid or what, <laughs> A couple, some of the girls have started calling it the green glue because, you know, it's in a green bottle, a white and green bottle, green cap. Because with the Tombow, you have a little bit of movability before it sets completely. So if you don't get your piece centered the way you want it, you have time to kind of scooch it around and make it do what you want. Then we're going to glue the soft sea foam onto that. I think my glue's about dry. Someone also gave a tip to, now I keep mine upside down over here in my holder so that my glue is always down on my tips. Somebody mentioned in retreat, and this is the neat thing about retreats, is we have the opportunity to network with other demonstrators who all have figured out tips and tricks for things. She took a hot glue gun and hot glued her cap to the bottom of a shot glass. And then all she has to do is unscrew this and it's ready to go. She doesn't lose track of her cap, and her bottle is always upright, and when she wants to switch out to a new bottle, she just takes this out, 
tosses this away and screws in a new bottle. Genius idea. I love that. And that would work for just about any of your glues that you use. Okay, we have these three done. I'm going to set these aside. And we're going to do our sentiment, our, our image. And what I did was I took... Let me see if I've got a better picture of it. Remind me my dies are on the floor. I took this and I ghost stamped it. And ghost stamping means that you take and you stamp it in, one co in your color. Ink it up. And then you're going to stamp it off once so you have a lighter shade going onto your card. And see, you can see, let me get this down here. You can see the difference between the initial stamping and stamping it off and the lighter tone that you get on here. I just wanted the subtle background for my flowers from that, and I'm inking them up with... The Memento Black. I'm going to cock at this a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that one's got a crease on it. It's got a tear on it. I'm going to have to trim that off just a little bit. And I'm going to try and do this without standing up. Straight down, straight up. And see, now I have that little subtlety of color in the background. And then we're going to come back to our mats and go ahead and adhere that one down just like this now yesterday I was had planned on yesterday to get all my videos done for the week I'm leaving Thursday for a uh, I have speaking of writers meeting on Saturday in the city Bob will be home Wednesday night and then I leave Thursday morning so I was trying to get all my work done yesterday on the videos and stuff so I could get them ready to upload and First thing I did was I recorded the walkthrough of the catalog, which launches tomorrow. And I had this beautiful video all recorded, walking you through the catalog, showing you new products so that you would get the walkthrough tomorrow morning when the catalog releases. It's on my phone. It's on iMovie. Um, I even tried uploading it to Duolink, and it was in Duolink as long as I looked at Duolink on my phone. But regardless of where I put it, if I tried to transfer it over to the computer, that video would not show up. It didn't exist. It just drove me crazy. So I have deleted that video, 45 minutes long, so you're probably glad I deleted it. And I'm going to record a shorter version today and see if I can get it to show. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I did here. You'll notice I have thanks and I have it set offside just a little bit. And I thought that's what I wanted to do, but it hangs off over the edge and I don't like that. So this one, we're going to glue this to the front of our card base. You know, sometimes as designers, we get so crazy about trying to see how complicated or how expensive we can make a card that we forget sometimes that sometimes simple is the best so I'm going to cut that and I think I've got it so what I decided to do with this is I want things to go completely in the center and I'll lay this one up here and you can see the difference and I think I like this one better so to apply that you know because I never think to use my adhesive sheets when I do delicate die cutting I'm going to use my silicone mat and a Q-tip. Now I get, I don't know if they still have them, but I have this kit from Dollar Tree that had cotton puffs and, and Q-tips and everything in it. And I love the ones with the little points on the end. And I'm just going to squirrel some glue out here on my silicone mat. And then I'm going to come back here. And I'm just going to dab the glue with the point on here, just kind of the side, but the point helps it stay a little bit more controlled as to where I want to put it, and I can brush it on with the tip like that and get glue where I want it. Now, if I'd have been smart and used the adhesive sheet, I'd have had this glued onto the front of the card already. Silly me. I really need to remember to do that. And I'm just wiping my glue up with my Q-tip 
I'm swiping it on here. And this lets me get it into these little places without having it all over my fingers. And you know me, if I'm working with the green glue, I'm probably going to wear it. But again, I learned another cool tip this weekend. If I'm going to wear the green glue, go ahead and wear it. And then run some sanitizer on my hands and it will take the glue off because of the alcohol in there. Now see, I've got that all covered on there. I'm gonna put a little bit more up here. And because this doesn't dry really quick, I have time to play with that and take my time. So now I'm gonna pick it up, flip it over, and I'm going to center it more on this one. Just like that, dab it down into place. And there's our card, just that simple. We have a thank you card and I've got a couple of things I need these for, so the thanks worked out perfect. What colors would you have chosen for your mats? I would love to hear other color combinations, and maybe I'll play, I'll play with them and feature your co color combinations on a future video. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember, all the, the links for the measurements and product links are in the description box below. Just click on the blog link. It'll take you to my blog, and everything is there. So remember to um, like, subscribe, and I just went blank. Like, share, subscribe, and create a blessings. 